Hey everyone, so I have another tutorial for you today and I decided to do something with kind of bright shimmery silver eyes. This look is probably more of a nighttime look but I mean you could always mute it down and make it a bit more subtle if you want to wear it during the day. Um, but I will let you get in to see how I did this look. So I've already moisturised my skin and I use a mix of this Nivea soft uh, moisturiser and then also with the Oilatum Natural Repair Face Cream. I just mix them and then put that on my skin and let it sit for about five minutes. And now I'm going to take the Soap and Glory Hocus Focus. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, just maybe half a pump. And then I'm just going to apply that onto my skin. I mentioned this in a haul which I uploaded yesterday. Um, and I said that I like using this as a primer. It's basically just a kind of skin illuminator. Um, and it makes your skin really, really silky. So that's why I found it works well as a primer for me. Because I have quite dry skin. And so adding this on the top just makes it a bit smoother and kind of softer to work on and then I'm not going to do the base of my skin until I finish my eyes just because I have a feeling the shadows I'm going to use are going to give me some fallout so yeah moving on to the eyes I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion to firstly prime my eye so I'm just going to take a small amount of that and then just apply that onto my lid and also under my eye just a little and then once I've done that, I'm also going to take a white eyeliner um, and I'm going to kind of create a white base on my lid. I was going to use my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, but mine's become really blunt and I haven't yet bought the sharpener for this, so I'll just use a white eyeliner. But if you have milk, then you can use that. So I'm just going to draw that onto my lid. It doesn't have to be anything neat and I'm going to draw it pretty much up to my brow. So just like this just kind of messy strokes and then I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. So then for the actual eyeshadows I'm going to go to my Sedona Lace palette. Um, I just did a review on this so I thought I might as well use it in a tutorial so you can see it in action. So then out of the first stack of this palette I'm firstly going to take this kind of shimmery white colour. It's almost got silver undertones though, just this one right here. And I'm just going to take that on a 239 and just pack that on the very inner corner. And take it around this tear duct bit just to add some extra shimmer. So with this colour I'll probably cover about the first third of my lid. It's just taking that in. It's a really pretty kind of white silver colour. And then I'm going to flip my brush around and take this kind of brighter silver colour and I'm going to apply that to the rest of the lid. And I'm just going to place that brush into my crease and just move it back and forth. And so that's just going to work the colour upwards just a little bit. And you can even turn it on its side and do the same motion. Just to help to blend those colours upwards. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just blend that through. Also take that colour and run it along your lower lash line, just really close to the lashes. And then from that palette I'm also going to take this darker grey colour. I'll take that on my fluffy brush, just a small amount. And then just work that into the very outer corner. And also run it a bit on the lower lashes. And that's just going to create a bit more of a smoky effect on the bottom, especially doing it with a fluffier brush, because it's not going to be as intense as placing it with a stiffer brush. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that pencil liner and just draw it on my waterline. Up 
point, I'm just going to take a smaller brush and just blend through that um, pencil liner that I put on the bottom, just so it's a bit more smoked out and isn't as harsh. Then I'm going to take Sleek Makeup's Luminaire Concealer. This is a kind of highlighting concealer. I'm just going to place that under my eye. Just some messy stripes, really, and then blend that through with my ring finger. So now I am going to move on to my foundation, and I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I am in the shade 115. I'm going to start applying that in the centre of my face with kind of dabbing motions just to place the product and then I'm going to start kind of buffing it in. And once I've got my foundation on I'm going to then go in and fill in my brows and I just use my sleek storm palette. Um, I use this dark brown eyeshadow to fill in my brows on an angled brush. And then I'm going to finish the eyes off with some mascara. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. And then for bronzer, I'm going to go in with my NARS Laguna bronzer. But I'm actually going to take it on a smaller fluffy brush. Um, normally I would use this type of brush for bronzer. But I found that this brush um, is nicer if you want a kind of lighter application. Which I do because the eyes are fairly dramatic in this. And I also want to do a fairly bold lip. So I don't want the bronzer to be too overpowering or anything so I'm just gonna lightly dip my brush in that and then tap it off and then I'm just gonna work this across the cheekbone I'm also just gonna take it up onto my temples and just blend it lightly over my forehead and down the nose. Don't forget to take it down onto your neck as well, just to make sure everything kind of joins together, otherwise you'll have a kind of separate line of tanness, which isn't good. And I'm taking this bronzer actually on the cheekbone itself as opposed to under it as you would for contouring. And that's just because I don't want to use a blush colour for this. And so I'm using the bronzer just to kind of warm up my face. So that's why it's going across the cheek as opposed to under it. And so then for my lips I'm just going to lightly line them with a kind of nude lip liner. This is one from Cargo in the colour Rose. going to blend in that line with my finger just lightly and then on the top of that lip gloss I'm going to take Max lipstick in Costa Chic which is an absolutely gorgeous um, kind of corally pink it's definitely a hot pink color I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera because I think the orange tones kind of take over on camera but it's definitely got a really gorgeous pink undertone to it and then over the top of that lipstick, I'm going to take this Makeup Forever lip gloss. This is the Lab Shine lip gloss in the Star Collection, and this is in the colour S6. It's a really pretty um, peachy pink. It's again a pink. I don't know how pink it's going to show up on camera um, because it does have orange undertones in it, so the orange might show up more on camera, but it's definitely a pink colour. And so then that completes this kind of going out makeup. Um, I think this would look really nice in the summer as well when you have a tan because the shimmery kind of silver eyeshadows are going to really accentuate your tan and so is the hot pink lip. It's going to look really nice. But I mean, if you didn't want to do the bold eyes and bold lip at the same time because sometimes it can get a bit too much, um, you could always do it with a nude lip and it would still look really nice because the eyes are pretty shimmery and um, yeah, they'll just look really nice with the tan. So I really hope you like this. I will list everything I use below as always and I shall see you soon.